Hey, y'all. So we're going to do another karmic update. We're going to see what the collective needs to be aware of. Holy Spirit, what does the collective need to know? Spell work to make his ding a -ling soft. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Okay. All right. So there's a karmic out there who is doing spell work on a masculine. Yeah, look, she's trying to strategize how to make somebody's life miserable. Okay. <laughs> Somebody has a Honda Accord. This could be you or them. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to figure out how to like, try to make somebody just maybe not want to be with nobody else because their dingling doesn't get doesn't get hard or something. Okay. We have here that movie. So for somebody, that movie that you saw or that show or whatever, something that you saw, Spirit is saying, this is confirmation. You're not bugging. Uh, for example, this could be maybe you saw an ad uh, online or something about the movie Fatal Attraction, <laughs> okay? And this is confirmation that this karmic is on some weird shit, okay? Because this karmic right here, they're doing spells on your on your dingling, okay? So, yeah, that's what I'm getting, okay? Let's see. This could be, if, if you're watching and you, you don't have a dingling, you know, they could be trying to just attack your person that is coming towards you. That they could have, an, this person could have an ex that is, uh, really stressed right now and pressed that somebody's moving on okay you could be in the suburbs or someone's in the suburbs doing something in the woods or some shit all right look yeah confirmation all right this person they could be um they could have been engaged okay and they're calling off the engagement and this karmic is mad and they're doing spell work so that his dingling doesn't get hard for you okay divine feminine all right we have here a drug bust so somebody's gonna get caught up for a drug bust as well okay tell me more holy spirit we have these years are significant for somebody. Somebody could be born in one of these years or something happened in one of these years. All right, tell me more. We have here the letter L, first name, middle name, last name, family ties. Somebody is uh, connected to someone in, their, in, 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 a, in this connection that they have a family with, you know, with somebody and they try to block your downloads. Okay, so... Family ties and try to block your downloads. They could be working with someone who's into voodoo. All right. And they were trying to block you from getting downloads. They didn't want you to know what's going on. Okay. They wanted you to be lost in the sauce so that they could be able to do this voodoo on you. And you and you get married to them. And they do whatever it is that they're trying to do to you. Wow. We have here that there is a pedo in your, in your family. Okay. Or in this karmic's family. Okay. Because we have here family ties. All right, we have here spreading lines and STDs. So this karmic could have an STD or somebody or this person that is into children, unfortunately, uh, is, 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 uh, is, is around somebody and you need to be aware of that. Okay, so we have here, uh, veil your crown. We have success and love. So somebody was trying, again, veil your crown. They were trying to attack your crown chakra. They didn't want you to get downloads. They didn't want you to know what was going on around you. They wanted you under an illusion so that they could get success in this love scheme that they're trying to do, okay? They could have been doing this to you for a while, and now you are awakening, and you're seeing clearly what's going on, okay? This could be somebody's ex, all right? Or ex could be uh, significant in somebody's name. All right, we have here the mother's boyfriend. Somebody's mother's boyfriend is involved in this. We have here the Six of Swords. So you're moving on. You could have been uh, moving on from a situation. Again, calling off the engagement or your person is doing that. And this karmic doesn't want that. It says here that you're testifying in court. Okay, you could be testifying against this karmic and they don't want you to do that. Okay, doesn't matter. Do whatever you got to do. And we have the King of Swords. Yeah, you can have a lawyer or you need to get a lawyer. This is like a lawyer, uh, an expert in their field, some type of professional. This could also be you right now making head over heart decisions. You know, you're being cold right now with these karmics. You're going to testify. You're going to do whatever it is that you got to do. You're not going to let them manipulate you. Again, head over heart decisions, okay? You're not letting your heart make a decision here. You're not letting this karmic manipulate you any longer. You're going to do whatever it is that you need to do, okay? So let's clarify, Holy Spirit. Who is this uh, pedo? And the family. Clarify the pedo in the family. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is not for everybody, okay? Book a personal reading with me if you would like to dig deeper into that, okay? But I'm going to see right now what comes out, Holy Spirit, okay? Wow. So we have here, hmm, this could be an older woman that they act like they are into religion, okay? They act like they, they could be 46 years old. That's not really older, but you know, it's just, I'm just, I'm just getting like an older woman here. Okay, but somebody could be born in uh, 1946. Okay, 1964. They could be 64 years old or 46. Give me one more for who this pedal in the family is, Holy Spirit. 
Okay, so look, they be doing this. Is what I was getting, like I feel like this person, they do they do bomb bindings. Like they take they take the child on for on a, on a trigger alert. Okay, unfortunately for these children, this person they do bond binding spells, bondage, right? On these on these children, that's what I be getting a lot a lot of times. Like when I see these these are uh, people fucking around with kids. Like, it's not like, it's, a lot of times it's not like that. It's not like they are, like, attracted. A lot of times they're doing this. They're doing some type of spells on them, siphoning from their root chakra, okay? From their sacral chakra, having sex with them, all right? And keeping them in bondage, all right? To siphon from them, all right? Keeping them in the south node so they could be able to take their opportunities, their blessings. And look, they end up not finding love. They end up being stuck, you know, uh, with sex demons, you know, going through a lot of bullshit, unfortunately. All right, and as you can see here, we got a little boy, and we got another little boy here too, okay? So this woman is doing this to somebody's son or, you know, a, a boy child in this home, okay? They could be working with other people. They could wear white, all right, to siphon, you know, so when they're doing like a ritual, they're siphoning the energy and again they pretend like they're into religion like they're into god like they're holy uh they could be acting like they are going to baptize this child i don't know i'm getting that right now with all of this for some reason okay and they're not they're actually siphoning from this child's energy okay and something about them all wearing like all white okay and pretending again something about them pretending like they're holy and they're not okay somebody could be born in 1986 or 68 66 Somebody could be in their 50s, 56. We have 50 and 56. All right. And yeah, they do this because this person, they want money. All right. So the rich girl in the house, this is how they get money. All right. The number 12 is three is giving me community. This is how this community of, of, of witches and warlocks of this family, because that's what they are. They're, they're doing their siphoning energy from people and from a child and from children. And they act like they're baptizing or they're you know, blessing or doing a protection thing around the child. Uh, but in reality, they're stealing from this child. This child is going to have to grow through this group of narcissists that they are incarnated into, okay? This this child is incarnated into this family, just like we was incarnated into a, a family of narcissists. And we needed to make our way through it, and we needed to heal and learn through it. So this is what this child is going through. Now, in the physical sense, let's see if this person is going to get arrested because <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they should, they should get, they got, they should get arrested. Okay. So this person with this binding, they're doing this, they're doing this domination shit on this child. Look how it says here, like deliberately, like they, they're like doing this over and over. Okay. This could be the old mother of this child. Holy Spirit, is this person going to get like caught up? Are they going to jail for this? Because what the fuck? Need to go to jail for this. So what we have here, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Look again, it's it's like a mother. The mother is doing something, or her mother is doing something. So look, we have here. They're gonna be losing money. Okay. Wow. We have the Eight of Swords, y'all. All right, but it's coming out in the reverse though. So Spirit is saying they're not going to get locked up. Cause look, this is what we want to see. We want to see that they are gonna get locked up for this. You know, but it's coming out in the reverse. Unfortunately, I'm just seeing like this person, they're going to wither. Spirit showed me this card before about a karmic mom when I did a personal reading and Spirit was showing me that she's going to wither, you know, like she's going to be just dying slowly and alone and shit like that, just withering. And that's what I'm getting. Like she's going to be broke. She's going to have lack of security. And um, she, yeah, she's not getting locked up, unfortunately. And this is reality here. This is reality, y'all. All right? I'm sorry that this is happening to this child. I really am, but this is what Spirit is showing me, that this, this person is not going to get arrested for this. Okay? All right, y'all. All right, so let's move on. Let's see what else. So that's what somebody needs to receive, that there's something, there's, there's, there's a lot of weird shit going on in this house. All right? This could be a house in the suburbs, you know, that they go to the suburbs and they do, uh, like I said, some something strange in the woods. You know, some type of ritual or whatever, and they're doing weird shit, okay? All right, so let's uh, pull more cards. Let's see what the collector needs to be aware of. They have nothing to lose, so that's why they keep doing that. They feel like they have nothing to lose, and they don't. Like, they don't have anything, period. That's why they steal from people's energies. These are zombies. These are walking uh, energy vampires. Tell me more. 
Somebody's birthday could be on 1222 or you could be seeing the 22nd, uh, the, the 222 a lot. Uh, we have here plot twist. It says here, watch the company that you keep. Okay. So watch the company that you keep. And we have nobody. Oh, the lights turned off. All right. And nobody wants to work with them. So this karmic, nobody wants to work with them anymore. They're starting to watch the company that they keep and they're starting to realize that they don't want to, they don't want to work with this karmic. They could be an Aquarius. Somebody could be an Aquarius in this situation. So that's the plot twist that nobody wants to work with this karmic anymore. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Maybe they're, they're realizing that the shit is starting to hit them. You know, they're starting to get a lot of, uh, a lot of shit going back to them. We have here a distant relative is significant. This could be your relative or the karmic's relatives that they're working. Yeah, again, working on their child, siphoning from their energy, binding the child. And they could be doing this with a distant relative in my throat chakra. <coughs> it's acting up right now. Hold on now. Listen, this is very dark. And I feel like my throat chakra is acting up because they're plotting. Not only on this, on the, on, I guess, the father of this child. This karmic is also strategizing. And they're doing a lot here. Yeah, look, the Seven of Swords. <laughs> Confirmation, they're strategizing. That's what the Seven of Swords is. A lot of strategizing. A lot of planning. A lot of plotting around this poor child. To siphon this poor child's energy. And they're even getting distant relatives involved. You know, like in another country or something. To do... To help them do this voodoo because again they have nothing to lose all right but this is a, a karmic a karmic uh cycle here that needs to be closed out all right so with the eight of swords we have it in the reverse they're trying to make sure you know that they free them they're trying to free themselves like i just said from a karmic cycle that could be that they're trying to all right an earth sign female a capricorn taurus a virgo could be trying to free herself from her karma is what i'm getting that's why she keeps on doing this uh this trying to do this energy swap, trying to siphon the energy from this child and then give this child her karmic debts. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is wild. But again, plot twist, like they're not going to help her. Nobody want to help her no more because they're seeing how it's, it's backfiring. All right. We have here, somebody could work at an office or something is going on with an office. Uh, they're they're going to blame you for the death. Okay. Maybe because the, the shit is going back. So somebody's going to end up passing away or they're going to blame this karmic for the death. We already see they don't want to work with this karmic we have here ex-boss in an office so there's gonna be something going on with somebody's boss ex-boss okay we have here the letter r first name middle name last name they're trying to steal your mail so somebody was trying to redirect or steal your mail so you don't get some type of uh notice we saw that you are going to testify against them so maybe they didn't want you yeah look confirmation you cannot make this up they didn't want you to get this letter in the mail Okay, a pleasant letter talking about testifying, but you're going to get confirmation. It's probably going to come back in. You're going to get a call or something, an, a, another letter or something. They, they cannot cover it up no more, all right? So that's what I got here. I hope I was able to help y'all. Peace.